Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin again. For today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to do astrophotography for beginners. Now, I like to point out the beginner section because by no means am I a professional at shooting astro. This is just a hobby of mine. It's something that I enjoy going out and doing with my friends. So if you're not able to get the photos that you're looking for or you're struggling with maybe some of the settings, I'm gonna show, share some of my experiences and hopefully they can make your uh, life a little bit easier when shooting the stars. Canon sent us out the EOS RA, so I'm really, really excited to be able to test that out and see what it can do since it is actually made for astrophotography. <laughs> All right, so we're finally at our destination. We're at Mankins Crossing Bridge right outside of Jonah, Texas. Some of the key things that you're gonna need when you're doing astrophotography is, most important thing I'm gonna say is you're gonna need a reliable tripod. I'm using the Peak Design tripod just because I like the size of it and how easy it is to pack up. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm using the EOS RA with an adapted Sigma 14 1.8. Now the difference between the RA and the EOS R, um, there's really two big differences. The EOS RA is going to have a infrared cut filter inside of it and it's going to have a 30 times magnification to make focusing on the stars easier. So this camera is specifically designed for astrophotography work. When I'm getting started, um, what I like to do is I like to first set my aperture wide open to a 1.8. And then from there, I'm gonna actually do my shutter speed and then ISO is gonna be last. For shutter speed, what I'm gonna go ahead and set on, I'm gonna do about 20 seconds. There's a rule called the 500 rule. If you're not familiar with it, you take 500 and divide it by your focal length and that's gonna give you the maximum amount of seconds you can actually leave your shutter open without you seeing the trails or star trails. 20 seconds is somewhere I decided on. With the 14, I can actually be at somewhere around 35 seconds. But we're gonna stick with 20 and then ISO, I'm gonna start at 3200 and we're gonna take a photo and see how that actually goes. So we just took the photo at ISO 1600. Um, the Milky Way looked amazing, but off in the bottom right corner, you're seeing light coming in from a city. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it at 800 and I'm fairly positive that that's gonna get me the look I'm going for. All right, so that's a wrap for our shoot. Now, like I said, by no means am I a professional astrophotographer, but I enjoy doing it. Um, so those are just some simple steps if you haven't done astro before, or maybe you have and you're just not able to get the photos you're looking for. For the Milky Way, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, very minimal amount of equipment you need. Now the EOS RA, that this camera definitely did make a difference to see a lot more light coming into the sensor. So I was really happy and shout out to Canon for sending that to us. But other than that, it is almost one in the morning now. I have a shoot at 7.30 in the morning with Todd after this. So remember to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on our next video.